Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay here, and welcome back to another episode of Take Two. Now, today we have a product that is very interesting. We have the Hegel H95 integrated amplifier. Now, this product was reviewed by Doug Schneider on August 15th, so this video should be posted two days after that review, and you can read that review by going to soundstagehifi.com or by clicking on the link below this video. But I highly suggest you read that review because that review is very interesting. I think Doug did a fantastic job of um, representing what the H95 is all about. In this video, we're gonna be talking more about my experience with the Hegel product, the H95, because quite frankly, uh, this one's a quite easy one for me. And I don't say that lightly. Um, I've had very good, tremendous experience with the Hegel H90, and I've had the H120 in here for three months. I had the Hegel H190 right now sitting on my uh, rack over there. And so I've owned Hegel products in this studio that I'm in. And also I have experience with the 390 every day. Um, and also I have, the, uh, I have heard the 590. So I wanna say that I have a pretty good idea of what the Hegel products are about. Now I'm a big fan of Hegel products and even the H90, I thought it was a great product because it could drive the MagnaPan LRS. Even though it is 60 watts per channel, it had a high damping factor of 2000, and it was able to drive the MagnaPan LRS and some of the demanding speakers out there. And it sounded pretty darn good for $2,000 US. And if you think about it, it's a streamer, it's a DAC, it's a amplifier, it's a pre-amplifier. So you have really four components going in there for $2,000. And the reason I'm so impressed with the price point at $2,000 is because if you do the math, and I know this is not the exact correct way to do the math, guys, but let's say for the sake of argument, you divide the price point in four, that's $500 for the DAC, you know, for the preamplifier, for the amplifier, for the streamer, each one is $500. And if you put it that way, where are you going to find a DAC that sounds as good as the one in the Hegel H90 for 500 bucks? Where are you gonna find a streamer where are you gonna find the amp? Where are you gonna find the preamplifier for 500 bucks each? That sounds like the Hegel and that performs as well as the Hegel and that can drive the MagnaPen LRS and many of the demanding speakers out there. I for one can't name too many. <laughs> so that's why I love the Hegel H90 because it's a phenomenal piece that just you know comes together and sounds great. No brainer, no headache, no synergy matching and all that stuff. And then we have the Hegel H95 that just came in. And when I first heard about this product, I was gasping for air because I was thinking, my goodness, how can it get better than the H90? And my worry kicked in. My worry was, okay, the price point is gonna increase. Oh God, I don't want it to increase. But here's the thing, it didn't increase. It stayed the same at $2,000 US and they inc increased the performance of the digital section. So the digital section has been improved and has been derived from the H120 and the H190. That is really something. They took the digital sections of the higher end models and they derived that to make the H95 digital section, which is a huge step up according to them from the H90. Analog section didn't change much. It's still 60 watts per channel above 2000 damping factor and it boasts you know, the same kind of great amplification and driving capability as the H90. Just like the H90 is rated at 60 watts at eight ohms, but it can dip down as low as two ohms. So it has that driving capability and the analog section didn't change much from the H90 from my understanding, but there were slight improvements to it. And as far as I can tell by looking at the insides of the Hegel H95, I can tell that the Hegel H90 didn't have the extra little transformer for the preamp section, while the Hegel H95 does just like the Hegel H120. So overall, it's an upgrade and the price is kept the same, which impresses me to a different degree. Now, what I love about the H95 is as with all Hegel products, it's a complete system. So it means that it has a streaming capability where you can use UPMP and stuff like this 
through the Hegel H95 to play your music and stream music. So all you really need to start get, get started is a pair of speakers and the H95. Now there is a downside to getting the H95 instead of its upper models. Uh, and that is that the H95 cannot play MQA, it cannot play DSD, and it cannot be a Rune endpoint. So that's the things that you have to consider when you're looking at the H95 instead of its upper models. However, for the most of us, unless you're a very serious audiophile who is, you know, very, very serious about playing DSD and MQA, for the most of us, I think the important thing is that the H95 plays AirPlay. And so that means that you can use your iPhone, your Apple devices to play uh, to the H95 and stream off of it without using a third-party UPnP software. And if you have Apple TV like I do, then you can use Apple TV and AirPlay to play off the Hegel without any wires or stuff like that. And if you have the Apple TV 4K, you will know exactly what I mean when I say thank God because if you need any type of audio cable for the Apple 4K, it becomes a little bit hectic using a third-party divider and etc. etc. But with the Hegel, that's not a concern. You can airplay directly. So that is a big lifesaver. For the rest of us who's Android fans like myself, you will have to play UPnP and use third-party apps to do so. Now, either way, it is a breeze to set up the streaming capability of the H95 and I thought it was just just like any other Hegel products, just a fabulous, easy way to play music and sound great with many of the components out there. And in terms of its aesthetics, the H95 and the H90 is almost exactly the same, except according to Hegel, the H95 has a better volume nub um, in terms of its quality. Other than that, just like every other Hegel products, let's be real, they look almost the same. And you would have to look at the back of the unit to know what model it is because they don't have anything in the front to indicate what model it is. The power switch is under the unit just like any other Hegel products. And I quite like that because it kind of gets out of the way. So overall, aesthetically, it is much similar to the H90 and still has that classic Hegel look whether you like it or not. Now one thing to note is that every other input other than the USB is able to play 24192 but the USB input is only able to play 2496, which is kind of odd because it's usually the other way around with most components. It's the USB that is the highest in resolution, but in this case, it is the opposite. So that's something you have to consider if that is important for you. And if you look in the back, it hasn't changed much from the H90 in terms of its output and input capabilities and you still get that pre-out, which is important in my opinion, so that you can integrate a subwoofer to your system or use it to use it as just a preamp and just as a source if you decide to get a better amplifier down the line or your friend brings in an amplifier to try out. Now, in terms of the sound, I think the H95 is a big step up from the H90. The gap between the H95 and the H120 is a lot closer than it was with the H90 and the H120. Before, I thought the H90 was slightly more grainier than the H120 and the H90, and I found that the H90 um, was a little bit less refined, but not by much. But now even the gap there wasn't that big in my opinion, but now the gap is even closer, and the H95 proposes a much better value in my opinion. The H95 is much less grainier, and you notice that right off the bat, uh, you also notice the fact that the soundstage is larger and you notice that right off the bat as well if you've been a Hegel user. Now in terms of the bass, just like the other Hegel products I love so much, it has a really good bass control, it has really good texture, it's authoritative, it's grand, and it's able to dip down low, it's able to punch really hard and all that stuff. Not as much as the H120 or the H190, but still very very good. I don't think it has improved too much in the bass region, in my opinion, from the H90. If you are familiar with that bass response, then that's more so what you're getting with the H95 as well. The mid-range is a lot cleaner, has less uh, kind of grain to it, in my opinion, which makes the focus of instruments much better. The background is darker, in my opinion. 
compared to the H90. And I feel like the high frequency is a lot more refined. It's a lot more refined, extends much easier, and has that kind of uh, less grain and has a kind of a lift uh, from the H90 in comparison. So overall, it's a very good improvement from the H90 and I am very impressed by the fact that they kept the price exactly the same. So that's pretty much it for me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.